guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd just go ahead and do an apartment haul type of video. I am moving out this Saturday and I'll be moving into a dorm which looks a lot like just in a mini uh, apartment. So um, if you guys want to see like a tour of that you can let me know but I'm probably <laughs> going to do one anyway and um yeah, so I'll just kind of probably show you guys a before and after I decorate or set up or whatever. But today, I'll just be showing you guys some of the things I've purchased. Again, I have a roommate, so she has some of the stuff at her house that she's purchased, but I can only show you what I have right now. So, yeah. Um, just to start, I have three things that aren't exactly apartment related, but they are... Um, back to school related so I thought I'd show you guys those things first just to get them out the way so first I have two pairs of boots that I really seem to be liking for like this upcoming fall time I think they'll be really good so first are just these brown pair and I know they might not be everybody's style but I really really like them um they're almost they're almost like a westerny feel um like a cowboy in a way but not totally um i like the you know tie up the front the combat style of it um i just like everything about it and it's brown so they actually go with a lot of things and they're really like flimsy up top and i really like that feel but also i like a more sturdy boot so i picked up these black ones and i really like these as well um the thing that really kind of brought me in on these boots were like this quilted pattern here and it feels nice and they're really like sturdy i got these from forever 21 for they were under like 30 dollars and i think i got those um probably at like pay less or something for 30 dollars so um they're both really good deals because i've always wanted combats but for some reason i kept finding expensive combats but yeah so i really am really like these and i'm really looking forward to wearing these and um aside from like that quiltedness they have i don't know how well you can see this but like this little band it has like uh just like cutouts that i thought were really pretty and they almost have like a um rain boot bottom to it just the way it's um set up almost so yeah I just really like these a pair of boots and I think they'll be great for the fall and maybe winter time I'm not exactly sure I might get like actual snow boots I'm not sure um and the last thing that's not really haul like um apartment related but school related is my book bag so this is the book bag I'll be using now um, I haven't really started school yet, obviously I start um, Tuesday, so I don't exactly know how many books I'll be taking and folders and binders. I'm hoping I'll only need like a five subject notebook, maybe a couple of folders or maybe like an inch wide binder or something. So I'm just hoping um, that they fit and I don't want to rip this, so in that case if I don't... Um, if I can't, like, fit everything in here, I'll probably end up using this bag here. This is, um, the book bag I used last year. It's just a Bob Marley bag. But, um, for now, this is the bag I'm planning on using. It's, like, this really cute black and white tribal printed, um, aztec -y kind of a bag. And it's that style where, you know, it has the buttons and it's, like, drawstring, um, opening. And, and it has two, like, little pockets here for my phone just like random stuff that I know I'll be bringing with me so um yeah I got this at Route 21 and it was $21.99 so I uh really liked this bag and I think it was a great find so now I'm just going to go ahead and start on some of the stuff I purchased for my apartment and if I you know get anything else along the way obviously I'll update and show what I get but here we go so the first thing I have just sitting here and I've like already broken it already is this like little three uh drawer divider thing now um I'm not exactly sure what I want to use this for I kind of want to use this for like a desk because um the apartments come with desks and um you know just separate like pencils pens when I'm doing work at home but you see it's like already um popped up because I'm trying to save storage like when moving because um, my sister's going to help me move with her truck but I'm trying to um, condense it so that I don't have so much to move so in here right now I just have my glasses I have th five in the bottom one two in the second one and two in the first one so I don't know what's going on with that first drawer but yeah I'm really in I really like storage so I'm really thinking I'm really gonna like that um also some storage things these are just two 
uh, clear bins and they come with three sections of bin and I'm probably going to be using these um, for like my either I'm not sure if I want to use this for my nail polish or if I want to go ahead and get like a nail polish rack um, also I like to collect hand sanitizers so um, I might put them in here and also you can let me know if you would like to see I don't know like a nail polish slash hand sanitizer um, I don't know, it's not a haul, but it's like a collection. I'm sorry, if you want to see like a collection, just because I do have a lot and I do consider myself a collector of the two, but I would like combine that video because there's no sense in making two, but you know, it's just um, an idea of something I could possibly do. Next is this bathroom set, and it just comes with like a contour rug, uh, a bath a tub rug, a toilet seat cover, and like the cover for the top of the toilet thing where the things are and it's just like this black it's not super soft cushiony like I kind of wanted it but it works um I got this for ten dollars at the dollar store which I thought was you know pretty decent I mean I didn't see any sense in going all extra expensive on things that are essentially just going to get wet and gross after a while um, two other things I got, I just picked up two packs of command strips just because you can't drill holes or you can't like, um, hammer nails, like you don't want to do that in your dorm because you can get charged for that. Someone did say when she was giving us a tour that we could do nails, but just not to go crazy, but I don't know their limit between okay and crazy so I'm just gonna go ahead and keep with the command strips and if I need more along the way obviously I'll pick up more and you might be looking at this I'll just go ahead and show you um this book is not really for the apartment obviously I purchased this book uh for something to do on my way to Chicago and I ended up leaving it here so it served zero purpose but it's still crossword so I'll probably use them um, here are just a couple of cups that I found at Target. Um, if you sense a Hello Kitty theme with those two, it's not for me, it's more for my sister that I'll be moving in with. She's really big on Hello Kitty, uh, she really likes her or whatever, so I just picked up these pack of cups. They come four in a, um, four in a thing, and I think they're different. Um, uh, no, they're not. So yeah, they just come four with in a group of four. I thought that was kind of cool. And then for myself, I got Bazinga. I got uh, Big Bang Theory cups. I really love the Bang Big Bang Theory. It's one of my favorite shows. And mine are like red, and hers are pink. And I'm kind of like, yo, I got stuff for me. Like I'm a dude, and I got stuff for her. Like she's like the girl. But whatever, I didn't really care. And then I bought this really cute, like, um, not thermal, but tumbler type of cup. Um, and it's black, and it just has like this really cool lightning bolt on the side of it and I just really liked it and yeah it is a tumbler cup so and this dishwasher stays we do have a dishwasher I don't know how much I'll be using it but we have one and then I have like this sorry that's not for my apartment I don't know why it's in there I also purchased two candles just because I liked uh smell good um stuff I really like my room to smell good so I'm gonna want my apartment to smell good and my favorite scent is like that uh cinnamon apple and I don't care what time of year it is I will burn a cinnamon apple I will spray cinnamon apple I don't care so I just got really two little cinnamon apple candles and yeah I just really like them and they're the small ones but they'll pack a good punch and I kind of want to go to uh, Bath and Body Works and pick up some candles but I haven't gotten around to it yet so yeah um also I just got two little like notes uh, post-it notes, um, my name starts with a D, it's Don Shay, I don't know if you can see, but they're pink, and then her name is Sarah, and hers are orange, and these are just, like, something we could stick on the refrigerator, and, you know, if I wanted to write a note, I can write it on there, she wants to write a note, she can write it on the S, or if it's just, like, we run out of something that's particularly for us, we can just put it on our own notes, or, you know, whatever, whatever's clever, whatever works. Um, the next four things are just some plates. I didn't go big on getting plates yet just because um, I'm really big on like, <laughs> this might sound crazy, I'm really big on like styrofoam and stuff, but even with those, um, you're going to need some real stuff sooner or later, you know, in case you have friends over or you just kind of want to, 
I don't know, maybe one day you just want to eat on a real plate. Who knows? Or when you're, like, cooking and you want to set stuff down, you can set it on a real plate. So, um, at Target, I saw these really cute, um, square plates. I didn't want, like, a basic, um, circle plate, so I just got these square plates. They are, like, this really nice, um, plastic. I didn't want glass because I'm clumsy. But, yeah, so I got, like, a white, black, and two of this, like, um... Not cherry red, but not quite uh, dark red. It's just like this um, really cool dusty red that I like. And for some more storage uh, bins, I just got these two cloth bins, and they just look like this. And what I liked about them the most is that they have like this little, sorry, they have like this little tab here where I could uh, put labels in. I mean, obviously you can see right into it, but if I wanted to like. Um, maybe I don't want to use these for my bedroom and I want to use them for like the kitchen or, you know, I, I don't want just products sitting everywhere I can put in that's on my cleaning products or what cleaning products or, you know, even if I do want to keep it in my room, I can put like hair products and bath products, you know, just in case I say like go to my room and grab yada yada for me or if you want to borrow this, it's in my yada yada bin, you know, it's just um, easier, I guess, and I really like it in their white and that's kind of the theme I'm going for a black, white, gray and a little bit of blue for my bedroom and then like a black white red silver for the kitchen is where I've been trying to stay I don't know if that's gonna work um next thing it's just sitting here looking at me it's nothing too crazy it's just like a mop or whatever you know for some cleaning because you're moving into essentially you're moving into an apartment someone has already lived in so you're gonna want to clean I mean not saying those per those people are dirty but you don't know those people. I don't know those people. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to clean. And then, of course, I got me a mop bucket. And, uh, yeah, I'm sure you hear this clinking around in here. So, I just got two little cups or glasses, if you will. And they just look like this. They're like uh, wine glasses, I guess. Um, Just because um, it'll be her birth. I'm sorry for the noise. I know the sound of that sounds terrible on video. Um, her birthday is two days before we move into the apartment, but we're not going to, like, celebrate on her birthday. Like, we might see each other or whatever, but we're not going to celebrate. So I just figured, you know, we get into the apartment, maybe after we set up and stuff, we can just chill out and drink some stuff. Obviously nothing alcoholic because I'm underage, but, um, she's, she likes that whole, um, feel of drinking wine or whatever. So we probably get some sparkling something. Um, I got these two jars here. They are glass jars. Um, I really wanted mason jars, but uh, for the place that I went, they didn't have mason jars, and I kind of did not want to drive all over Creation looking for them. So they are just like this, um, you know, plastic top with a glass jar, and essentially they're for like sugar and flour or whatever. So yeah, I got two hand soaps uh, for my bathroom. We have two different bathrooms. Um, so I just got two soft soap, but I, and these soaps are just not with it. Um, I got the antibacterial, just like orange, and then I got like this milk and honey one that smells so good. So, yeah. Um, and then last but not least, I found this like little package of hand sanitizer, and like I said, I love hand sanitizer. I usually get them from Bed Bath & Beyond, no I don't, I usually get them from Bath & Body Works, but, um, I was just at the dollar store and I saw a three pack for a dollar. I don't know if they smell like anything. Well, this one says, this green one here says it's cucumber melon scented. The pink in the middle says irresistible apple. And the orange is just orange scented. So, yeah, I guess they might uh, be nice. But, um, who knows? They were a dollar, so I'm like, why not go for it? Whatever. Sorry, I'm just gonna try to keep these things together in some kind of orderly fashion whether or not that works out i'm sorry i see this video is already getting long so i'll try to hurry things along um next is just a towel it's going to be the big towel that i use and it's just white and it has these like gray lines and just like really thick gray lines at the bottom um super exciting i know i just got like, a toilet bowl cleaner just you know when one cleans their toilet 
I got this really big fluffy fleece blanket and it's like this baby blue which will be like that big pop of color in my bedroom just because most of the stuff I got is black and white or gray for my bedroom so I'm kind of looking for a curtain and I'm kind of thinking of taking this curtain with me but it's not exactly the same blue but I kind of feel like my bedrooms my bed is on this side my windows on this side it can, I can make it work so I'm thinking but yeah I do need to get something that matches this blue just to tie it all in for some reason I have a pack of gum in there. I did not know that was in there because this bin has literally been sitting in my closet for weeks. Wow. Okay. Um, I have another big towel that's just black. So when I switch out with the white and gray, I can go in with the black. Ew. Um, next I have my comforter set. And it is just this like black, white, and gray floor printed comforter set. We do have twin beds, so that's why why it looks like really small. Um, the picture is not on it because I took the picture around while I was going shopping for stuff just because if I got something else floral I didn't want it to collide with this floral and I wanted to get the same grays and you know black and white you can't go too wrong with black and white so yeah um, that's why I don't really have the picture of it laid out but when I do like my apartment tour or show and tell I don't know whatever when I do the apartment video you'll all see it on my bed um next sorry this is kind of <laughs> it's kind of down there is my this pot and pan set that I just purchased the other day and it's um a non-stick cookware set um it comes with like okay how do you do this <laughs> okay it comes with a little a little pan medium sized pan deep fry skillet a regular skillet and like one of those big like pasta pans and they all have Okay, all four of the pants have tops, lids, whatever. So yeah, that was pretty cool. It was only twenty dollars, and it's like stainless steel and it's non-stick, so deals. Next, I have a lot of stuff. I don't know if you noticed. Know, you didn't hear that. A lot of the stuff is branded mainstay because um, I went to Walmart to get these things. Most of these things, not all of these things. Some came from Target. Some came from Kmart, Dollar Tree. This has been a very collective haul. So yeah, um, then I just got like a black uh, lamp for my bedroom desk. I do not have light bulbs yet because I failed to account for needing light bulbs. How do you fail to account for needing light bulbs but by light things? I don't know. Next, I bought <laughs> stop. Next, I bought two packages. Just hit me in the face. Two packages of hangers. Um, obviously I have more hangers. I have hangers that I've already purchased. Some out of my closet. Which is actually empty now, which is kind of weird. But, um, yeah, so I just bought two more packs just because I kind of want all my hangers to match. I'm not like, I don't have like a thing about it, but I kind of want that. Next, I have another package bag from Dollar Tree. And these are more like products that I'm using to clean up. So I just bought like a Comet, uh, some latex gloves, um, some pine glow, generic pine saw. Um, it was a dollar, why not? Um, two more things. I purchased a antibacterial dish detergent and a Eric spray and it's just like the four in one or whatever and it's in mon ma magnolia and cherry blossom. So it's really it was smells really good and it's like a really cute pink color, so I was like, totally have to get that. Hashtag girly girl. That one second could make me not want to post this whole video. But you know what? I ain't doing this again. So let's keep let's keep going. Next, I bought these two wall decals. I'm not sure if I want these in my bedroom or if I want these in the bathroom or maybe in the living room because I think they'd be cute. But um, I'm going to try them out first in my bedroom. And I'm sorry if that kind of like blinds you or whatever because it's kind of like a, the mirror effect, but it's just like this really cute vine, not a vine, more like a branch, I guess. It's like a silvery metallic branch with some um, leaves and flowers falling off, and it's got two of those, and I'm just going to try them out and see how I like them. If I don't like them, if they're gaudy, I'll take them down. Um, I bought a package of 18 washcloths because I am the type of person who will use one rag for my face, one rag for my body, and I switch rags every three days. Just 
that's just how I like it. Next, I have, oddly enough, I have a little man. He's just this little, what is that? Um, um, I don't know, like a little cowboy? I don't know what he is. But he was in my stuff, and he doesn't belong there. So next, I have this um, divider for your silverware. Even though I probably have like a lot of plastic stuff, I still want to divide it. Um, next, I have my little lip broom dustpan set. This is more or less for like um, my bedroom, not really for the kitchen. The kitchen will have like a bigger room, and I think my sister bought one, so I didn't feel the need to buy one. Um, if she didn't buy one, I guess I'll have to buy one. Next is this little bathroom set also. If you remember my stuff for my bathroom, um, let me show you. It's right here. The stuff for my bathroom is black. And then the products that go in my bathroom will be white. Um, I like that. And it's weird because I think theirs are white. But theirs might be clear. Whatever. Um, yeah, I just like black and white together and gray together. So I'm like, yeah, why not? So this is just a set of four. And it came with like this waist, plastic waistband. It came with a toothbrush holder, a like mouth rinse thing, and a soap dish holder. I'm not big on bar soap, but, you know. Push come the shove, you'll use it. Next, um, speaking of which, I did buy two body washes, but I think I put them in the bathroom, but whatever, they're just body wash. You kind of see one, you kind of see it all. And then I bought this big, um, waste basket for my bedroom. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to want this in my bedroom or not, just looking at the size of it. So I might, like, put this in my bathroom and put the smaller one in my bedroom. I'm not sure yet. You know, things have been very jumbled and then you're like trying to plan for somewhere you're n you're not able to see it's kind of very difficult and you know after I move in I'm probably going to want to go do more shopping that day of maybe after I get off work or something and that work that day. I'm sorry for the noise I'm just trying to rotate so we're down to the wire we're down to the final thing and I was going to like lift it but I think I'm just going to maybe try to angle the camera that way so ignore the mess of the bed in my bedroom I'm sorry but here is the final and I'm not naked I promise you I'm on shorts so um yeah this is the final thing and it's just like a bigger version of that divider I had a small one and like I said I like storage so right now I just have other products in it that I'll be taking to my apartment with me so yeah so this first drawer is a mess um, okay, first of all, I don't know if you're, if you're a Dollar Tree person, okay, so I went there, I'm going to show you that, meanwhile, I went there and, you know, I'm expecting to find good deals, obviously everything's a dollar, so, you know, I'm like, yeah, what's up, and I buy these nine pack of hooks, and I'm like, you know what, just because they're self-adhesive hooks, they don't say, like, clean <coughs> I'm sorry they don't say that they like remove easily or anything so I guess it's kind of my fault for not really reading but still I didn't know how bad they would be so I'm like you know what before I get into my apartment I'm I'm gonna be in that apartment for two years so let me just try one out for the couple of months that I'm here so this first one I try one right here on my door and I go to take it off a month and a half later and the hook comes off fine no problem real easy the adhesive and it's not like just like a piece of adhesive that if you touch it you'll get stuck no it's like this thick piece of adhesive at least this thick this long in like that wide and it's literally just sitting there and it's gross and it's yellow and my walls will be white in that apartment so I'm like no so then I try a couple more out on my closet door here on the wood so I'm like yeah whatever it should work right I so I hang it up and I hang some scarves on it I go away I come back my scarves and the hooks are on the floor I'm like wait what so then I pick them up and I'm like okay maybe I'll take I'll take some scarves off because I do really fancy scarves. So, um, I figured maybe I need to take less, you know, put less scarves on there. So I have to take like two or three of my more daintier scarves, take another hook. I don't use the same hook. I take another hook, put it up there, 
put the two or three stars on it, walk away, literally come back in the next maybe 10, 20 minutes, and it's on the floor again. So, two things I learned. First of all, they will fuck up your wall. Excuse my language. They will mess up your wall. And B, they will, they don't stick to, like, wood. So I'm just like, I'm sorry. I just, like, really completely ranted about hooks. And if you're wondering, they just look like this. So, I definitely recommend going for a brand name, um, Command to be exact. Um, I know they're really good. So, moral of the story is cheap is not always better. And I probably should have already known that. But, let's just pan back. I'm sorry, that was, that was a really bad rant. Um, wow, 25 minutes. Okay, sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and try to speed this up. So, in this first drawer, I just have this hand soap that I want to try out and it's in fresh cotton um it just looks like uh, looks like that and it's blue it's really clean um the next is in peach mango and I'm really looking forward to that even though I don't like mango I like the smell of mango the last in harvest apple I already know I love because I'm an apple person uh as far as scents and then I got like these little scrubbers just you know to clean up with and I have this like pack of um cotton products I guess and they um, can you see yeah they have uh two sets of q-tips to be exact 140 q-tips they have um 10 cotton swabs and 10 cotton pads so I thought that was a pretty decent product to buy of course it was a dollar so whatever the second drawer here has my Betty Crocker scrubber for my dishes and uh, everything I bought this Betty Crocker is either red, black, or white. So, um, and I bought myself two packs of toothbrushes just because I like to switch toothbrushes often. I bought myself a bigger, um, bigger than other washcloths, but it is also, in fact, a washcloth, and I got it from Kmart. Um, I got some Betty Crocker scissors because I don't like when people cut open food products things with the same scissors you'll catch me cutting my clothes and stuff with. Um, I bought a spoon, a Betty Crocker spoon, and Betty Crocker spatula there. Um, a, like a potato pillar, or you can use it for an apple pillar. Some hooks for my shower curtain and liner. I just, eh, I just can't. I'm not a good YouTuber. Um, so yeah, and then I bought like a can opener, just not a big sucker brand. And I bought some measuring cups, because I like to cook a lot, and you gotta, you gotta do measurements. And in this last drawer, to finish things out, I bought a pack of red, three red bowls, three white bowls, a like batter thing, like you can use batter in here and it's easy to like pour because it has like the thing. It is not Betty Cracker. It's a mixing bowl. Yay. It told me. Um, I bought some salt and pepper shakers. They're just clear so you can see what you're shaking. I bought this shower liner. I just got like a black one. Um, and then this is my shower curtain and this looks, can you see is it picking up the picture? It just, it's white or clear, I think, with the letter, like, words, say, like, hope and love and dream and joy and things like that. And, yeah, so I bought a black liner before I bought this, so I don't know how they're going to look together. But if it doesn't work, you know, I can just go back and get, like, a white liner or whatever. And then the final thing I have down here is just one of those big old spoon holders so your spoon doesn't dirty up your, um stove when you cook. So, pan back to me. Pan, 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 pan. Yeah. Um, so just to finish off this video, I hope you guys liked this video. Um, this is the first in my back to school slash move in video series. Hopefully, um, I haven't gone school supply shopping yet, which is sad, so you probably won't see that video until I actually move in, but you can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these things, because I want to do things that I know people will enjoy, and just because I enjoy it does not mean you enjoy it, so yeah. Um, yeah, so back to school supplies haul. 
um, what's in my backpack once I get those up and going, how I'm adjusting to college because this is my first year, that video will be coming, maybe some tips for uh, high schoolers maybe, you know, like freshmen and sophomores and juniors and by the time you're a senior you might have it figured out I definitely think I had it figured out but you know different strokes for different folks and um I'm sorry I can like see Bob Marley's face you see this my check okay anyway so yeah um let me know if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and tell your friends to subscribe and tell your friends about me and leave me some comments below telling me what you liked what you didn't like what you would uh prefer to see more of less of um just let me know i want your feedback so i'm sorry for this extra long video but i love you guys have a good day bye